Hello everybody, welcome back, and if you have set up your Call of Duty World of War mod tools correctly, you should have all of the folders similar or exactly the same as what I have. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to go and click Script Placer Z. Now if this is your first time running it, you should run Script Placer Z dash updater, and that'll uh, update the program, and you don't even have to do anything, it'll just automatically update the program for you. But I believe if you go ahead and launch this, it'll launch the updater automatically. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, see, uh, the latest version right now is 1.1.5.1. And that will be in your root folder if you have installed everything correctly and um, extracted script placer Z into your root folder. If you are using a different script placer, I cannot help you because I'm doing it with script placer Z. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and use script placer Z. I like script placer Z because it's nice, clean, and it's pretty good at generating like a little map and it has some nice options. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to create map, click create map, uh, UGX mod, that is something else, but that's not even an option. So we're just going to choose varies, which is basically a complex map with perks. We're going to hit continue map name. You can enter in anything you want. This is what you want to name your map. So I'm going to call mine, uh, YT, um, YouTube, YouTube. I'm just going to call it YouTube. And the map script, now this can't just be anything, you have to put a Nazi underscore zombie underscore prefix, because that is the requirement in the game files. You can put anything afterwards, don't make it too many ridiculous characters, just make it something like, something like that, or even YT. I'm going to make mine YT. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and click the options tab. Now here, you can kind of play around, um, but basically once you've checked things off in here, uh, it's kind of built into the script, and it'd be extremely annoying and uh, and and everything to take it out. So pre-plan your maps and make sure you want things, especially these perks and power-ups, because if you don't add them in right from the beginning, you will have problems later, trust me. So let's say I want Black Ops 2 Perk Shaders, Double Tap 2.0, and Black Ops Perks. You can change the menu buttons as well, I'm not going to. Easy effects, I'm not even going to bother with this. You can add in an easy-to-use zombie counter, but we're going to do that ourselves anyway, so I'm not even going to bother checking that. Time gameplay, that's if you wanted to make something like a survival game mode or something. Uh, we're not going to use that. Anti-cheat, I'm just going to leave that alone, because we may use, use that for debugging, and anti-cheat might get in the way. And remove hellhounds, I'm going to teach you guys how to do hellhounds, so don't check this. Starts more and starting weapon, you can put this anything you want. Actually, starting weapon, you have to use a weapon name. I'm just going to leave it blank, which is the default, and or the Colt, and the start score, I'm just going to leave this at the default 500. Once you've set up all the settings you want to do in here, you can just hit Build Map, and it will generate it. And then if you go ahead and close this and go over to your launcher, you should find that it's been created, Nazi Zombie YT, or whatever you put as your uh, map name. And then you should see another one, Nazi underscore zombie underscore your map name underscore patch. We're not going to bother with the patch right now. That's for when we get into compiling. We're just going to bother with the YT. So once we've done this, we have successfully built our map. We're not going to worry about any of these right now. Now, once you are in your launcher, if this is your first time using the mod tools and you've never used them before, you're going to need to run the converter. Now, the converter won't really work for me because I've already done it. You might get errors. You might get DLL does not match conversion error, or you might just get error one down here and nothing down here. That's fine. Just let it convert until it says no active processes, and this either says success or error. Error usually isn't a big deal. It's just a a problem on the developer's fault and it shouldn't affect you in any way so once we have that we can get ready to go into radiant which we're going to do in the next tutorial so i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions or comments leave them in the cool well the comment section below uh like the video if you well liked it and subscribe for more videos and i will get on and we will be learning radiant and the basic keyboard shortcuts and learning the feel of the um, IDE or Radiant in the next video, and I will see you guys later.